Hi, Eric Landis here with All Sound Designs. I'd like to give you another virtual tour of a high-tech home we just finished. This home is very sleek, very energy efficient, very stylish, and it's also got some great convenient electronic features that you're going to love. Come with me and I'll show you around. I'm standing in the great room, where normally you'd have quite a few devices on the wall. You'd have multiple light switches, a thermostat, and who knows what else. I love how we've kept this system very, very sleek. One multi-button keypad for the lights, and all of the thermostats are centrally located in the mechanical room. So we actually do have a sensor that's drywalled and painted in the wall right here that can be controlled from a number of different devices. And after the sun goes down, when you walk in the house, whether it's by a door opening, a motion detector, a pressure pad, or a number of other sensors, the lights come on automatically without pushing any buttons, and they shut off automatically once you walk through the area. Late at night, you want to be able to move through the home and not get blasted with super bright lights. So what we have is automatic night lights. They come on automatically, shut off automatically, just like during the evening, but they're very, very dim, so you don't get bothered with it. This allows you to move around the house without worrying about stubbing your toe. And after the sun has come up, and you don't need the lights to come on so you don't waste any energy, they don't come on. There's plenty of light to move around the house without the lights coming on. Now, if you have areas such as a pantry where there's no natural sunlight coming in through a window, those lights would still work. For this project, we did something kind of special with the motion detectors. The, this family has dogs, and they didn't want the dogs to be triggering the lights on and off as they ran around. So we used wall-mounted motion sensors, and these sensors only point up. So when the dogs move past, it doesn't trigger the lights, but when a human moves past, it does. All right, Jumbo, you ready? Go find Mommy. We're using a Savant control system at this house. Savant has Apple at its core. What that means is that their apps are the sleekest and the fastest that I've ever used. So we can use the iPad, iPod, uh, uh, iPhone. They've got their Savant Select remote that has an iPod nested. Any of these interfaces work. What I'm showing you is how we dock the iPad in the wall. So we have an in-wall dock where the iPad can just slide right in lock in and start charging. The Savant app is just a regular app like you might expect. I put it down on the lower right hand corner so that it's easy to find. When I first open up the app, what you'll notice is on the left you can choose all, where all of the options show up on the right and you can slide up and down and see everything that you can do. You also can filter it by just watch. So now I've got cable TV, Blu-ray and Apple TV. We could do just listen activities such as the squeeze box, iPod um, or listen to our cable or Apple TV. The environment tab is where you have access to climate and lighting. So we'll start with what's at the top, the climate. As soon as you push climate it shows you all of the thermostats in the house. So in this scenario we've got four. So I could choose the living wing where I'm working at now and I could see the heat, the cool, the fan and all the settings for the thermostat. But I also can control all of the different areas all from one spot. So I can jump around room to room and control these areas. Additionally we've got lighting. So from the lighting tab uh, it shows you the room that you're in now but I also can choose any other area in the house. So we can go uh, you know let's say into the kitchen and it shows you all of the kitchen lights. It's got simple buttons like welcome where it just turns all the lights on to a nice dimmed state uh, or all off where it shuts everything off. Or you can take and slide the dimmers exactly where you want. Down at the bottom it's got two buttons so it shows you that there are more lights to choose from. So now here's the island, the pendant, and the primary can lights. And I can control each one individually. A neat thing about this particular iPad dock is that the iPad will slide right out of it and you actually can put a photo in, the, in its place so that it looks like a traditional picture frame on the wall. Even if you're not at home, you're out and about and you forgot something, 
you can connect from anywhere in the world. This app is actually really snappy. Uh, moving through, you know, if we go environment, lighting, you can navigate the pages. Uh, let's say that we've forgotten, didn't turn our thermostats down. You know, we can connect and, and see all the thermostats, see live settings, and adjust them very quickly. And uh, it works great. So at home, away, anywhere you're at in the world, you're going to have control over your system. The Savant Select Remote really changes the dynamic of what you consider a remote control. What this is, is this is actually an iPod Touch nested into the remote control frame, but you still have hard buttons, volume up and down, channel up and down, up, down, left, right, select, and all of your transport controls and numbers. So you can memorize where volume is, up, down, left, right, select, guide, but yet you have all the power of the Savant app and a touchscreen interface right in the palm of your hand. So, I can choose watch and cable, for instance. And it turns on the TV, turns on the sound system, everything works with one button. Also, this is working on the Wi-Fi network, so I'm not pointing it. It always works no matter what. Now, once the cable is on, of course, I've got the hard buttons. I can pull up the guide, navigate the guide, choose whatever I want, and watch it. And really, controlling the, you know, the TV and, and sound system are the least of what this thing can do. So we could go to environment and choose our climate. Shows us all of our thermostats. Go into the living area. We could go to lights. And this isn't just the lights for this one room, but this is the lights for the entire house. We can control anything, again, right from here from our remote control. You get and since we're on the Wi-Fi network, you're not tethered to one room with this. Right up here we have the room list. So I could take this, and this can be the remote control in any room in the house. So this is not just one remote, this is every remote. What else I think is really special about this is it's so much more than just a remote control. I mean, this basically has the power of a computer in your hand. So we can exit out of it, and you know, we've got Safari, so we can go to a web browser, check our, our uh, email, you know, anything you want, anything you can think of, you can do right here, I mean, right while you're sitting at your couch. Uh, it's also got the built-in camera facing at you, and it's got the camera on the back side. So you can use this as a camera. You can do FaceTime or video chat or just take photos of your kids that are being funny. Take video of your kids that are being funny. You could watch YouTube videos from here while watching some, something else up on the TV. I mean, th the possibilities are literally unlimited. Let's say that you do need to control volume. When you push volume, notice the Savant app automatically loads. Along the traditional doorbell communications, where you push the doorbell and it chimes, in our systems it chimes through the speakers. We also set up driveway sensors, so when someone drives up to the house, the music actually mutes and the driveway sensor comes through. The driveway sensor is a different sound, so we know when they're at the driveway and we know when they're at the front door. Almost anything that's electronic can be controlled by a Savant or home automation system like this. So we also have the garage doors. So right from my phone here, I can just hit open large garage door and it opens for me. And the app actually gives us feedback. So it shows that the, the large garage door is open and the small garage door is closed. So even if we're not at the house or we're upstairs, we can just look at the app and get feedback on if the doors are open or closed. In most parts of the house, we have just a single multi-button keypad. Very small and sleek looking, yet very easy to use. These keypads include multiple buttons. They're placed in just central locations so we don't have switches all over the house. And they're engraved so you know exactly what they do. What's great about the engraving is it does two things. Number one, it gives you feedback. It can tell you what's on and what's not on. What else is nice about these custom engraved buttons is even when the lights are totally off, when you're walking around in the middle of the night, it's very easy to see the buttons and read what you're doing so you know exactly what button to push. If in other parts of the home where there are speakers as well as lighting controls, instead of having two separate controls, maybe a volume control above or next to the keypad, we incorporated everything together. So on the right, we have the lighting buttons, and on the left, with using the exact same style keypad, we're controlling the music. As soon as we press music one, Music 1 and the volume buttons light up green, letting you know that, that it's in its first source, which is the radio. If I push Music 1 again, 
Everything changes colors going to the second source, which lets me know that it's listening to the Apple TV right now. And the third press goes to listening to the cable or what's on television. I actually can switch over to Music 2 and all of the colors change and green on the Music 2 button is iPod, control of the Squeezebox network music player, or listening to the DVD CD player. Even though we're using lighting switches as the audio keypads, the lighting switches stay in sync with the Savant app. So if I choose Music 1 on the keypad, the app turns on and shows you what's being listened to. If I use the app and change to the Apple TV, the keypad automatically changes. FM radio changes. Squeeze box, that's yellow on music too. It goes back and forth and it stays in sync no matter what you do. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this virtual tour video. This is so much better than a showroom, being able to see the real project function in a real world scenario. If you'd like to check out more, visit our great website, allsounddesigns.com. And I'm Eric Landis. Until next time, see you later.